Hey there, it's Mark. There's people of all ages that like to collect cars. These are my containers that I like to use for Matchbox, and these two are my Hot Wheels. As a matter of fact, these are my Hot Wheels cars that start with H, fantasy cars. I actually have two of them because I have too many for one container. There's another reason. I'll talk about that in just a moment. And, you know, they fit Matchbox, too. Johnny Lightning, they fit all sorts of brands. No, they're not made by Hot Wheels. It's a separate brand. But in the stores, check this one out. 25 years ago, this is a little uh, a, a little container for kids to collect their cars, right? Got a little handle. It's pretty cool. Looks like a uh, an engine. Can't believe we just had the 50th anniversary. This thing's 25 years, already 25 years old, and it was the 25th anniversary. So that would have been released in, let's see, 68, 78, 88, 93. This would have been released around 1993. And I'm filming this in 2020, so it's already, it's already 20 years old. Pop it open. Take a look at the inside. Oh, that's the lid. Here's where the cars go. And see, these are more designed for kids because the plastic that it's made of, this plastic is durable. You can drop this and it, it, will, not, uh, it will not break. These types of containers... In order for them to be clear so that we can see through them to see the cars it's made of a different type of plastic and it can be brittle so like if you drop it look at this this corner's busted right here so that's why these are not really for kids who still play with their toys and they don't know how to take care of things because this type of container can get broken these these are very durable since I showed you this container, you want to have a you want to have a quick peek at the Matchbox cars that I have in there. Let me get my camera ready. Now I don't I don't want my cars to. I am going to show you talk about the Cubbies in that 25th anniversary set uh, piece. But I'm also going to talk about the Cubbies here. I'm going to use the Hot Wheels cars to fill the Cubbies. I put a pencil here. Because this way, when I open this up, this way it's leaning backwards and the cars don't come falling all out. Because otherwise, if it was straight up, if you give it a little bump and poof, there they go. All the cars come down. We'll go ahead and have a look. I have quite a few samples of the Volkswagen Beetle. This one right here. This one is, uh, might be a Baja Beetle. I'm not sure the exact name. And then some of them, some of them were police. See how it has a little thing? Or taxi. This one they made into a police. It's a Baja and a police. So many changes. And you can see how they have that piece popping up through the roof. Have some ambulances. And see, while these are nice. Oh, by the way, these containers, they have 40. You can fit 48 on each side. These are small cubbies. But you can see this. There's no line right here. So this is for longer cars. Uh, another thing about these, because it's this size, <laughs> what do you do if... You have a model. Is this a Bronco or a Tahoe? Let me look. This is a Chevy Blazer. I was wrong and I was wrong. Chevy Blazer. I think I think Matchbox just reissued this as a matter of fact. But I don't think it has this uh, antenna anymore. See, when you put it like this, though, it's, uh, it's kind of squished for the antenna. And it's squished between the lights. And there's really no room. It's, it's too tight if I were to try to squeeze it in here. Uh, it has a light thing. So that's why I put it like this. And it works, right? It gets the job done. I store my cars. Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, another ambulance. What do you think? Is this a... No. I was wondering if this was the one that had the door that opens on the other side. No. Got some... Uh, oh. Here's a fire tanker truck, or airport tanker truck. This part right here moves around. Has a, has a moving feature. Let's see, forklift. Of course, the uh, tines on the forklift lift up. That's a newer model. Most of these are, f most of these models are from the Matchbox Hero City age. You'll know that for sure. I have, a, I have a sign on the other side, Hero City. Is this? Or is it? No. There's a um, there's a Matchbox model where you can pop the door open. Sorry if that was off camera. No. Let's have a peek at the other side, and then after this we'll start filling up 
with Hot Wheels, the Hot Wheels container. And of course, these could fit in there as well. It's just when I go to put them away, it'll save me time if I just put Hot Wheels in there. Here's a look at some. Hey, this one, Matchbox reissued in their moving features line. It used to be a regular car with moving features. Hang on. <laughs> See in the back? That back door opens right up. So that was the moving feature that was in the normal Matchbox model, but now it's kind of, I guess it's a little too expensive for them, for them to put it in the regular cars now. Here's another airport tanker. Got yourself a flatbed tow truck. I'm a big fan of this. I like I like these. I know other people might not like them. I like them. I'm hoping to find that one. Oh, this one has an opening feature. Sorry, I have to do it upside down because my camera is holding it. My camera is in my other hand. Of course, you know the helicopter has moving propeller. <laughs> there we go, extending rotor. Mm, I got another one. It's just squishy in there. Almost near the bottom, cement truck. Yes, that spins. Anything else? Another one? I took these out. I forgot I took these out. I don't think I, I might not have paused to let you see. Hero City. They, during this era, they had all these graphics. So that's why I have that. It's just for me, for when I see this container and when I see this in, through the plastic, then I know what it is. It gives me an idea of what's in here. Hmm, pretty cool. This one spins and it lifts up and down. Wait a second. What's that? Somebody lost their antenna. Because I know this. I don't know if this is called the Microbus or what the name of this model is. <laughs> that's that's not the antenna for this model. I must have this must uh this must come off of uh, this model here, and it might be in another container. And this one right here, VW Transporter. I knew it wasn't VW Bus. Again, these are my H Fantasy Jammers. Let's pop it open. I'm sure you know some of the cars. This one's Highway Hauler. It's a, a bigger model. It does not fit. It does not fit in a little cubby. Just a little bit too long, so we'll try that in the 25th anniversary set. Let's go ahead and get this one. I think this is HW, HW40. This is HW40. Let's go ahead and grab a horse play. Hollowback, sorry. Hollowback. This one, this one was horse play. This one here. Hooligan. This is the prototype one I was thinking of. HW, no, prototype H. Oh, I get, I get so confused. Prototype H24. Yeah, prototype H24. This one's prototype H24. And this one's H. Not that one. Oh, yeah, that one. Eight. I was looking at that one. And it's the same car, different color. This one is HW prototype. 12. Names so similar, it gets confusing. Do you see how I stack them base to base? This way I can get two in one spot. I can fit more in a container. Let's go ahead and get this one. I get confused between Howlin' Heat and another model. This one is in fact Howlin' Heat. Fun model. Hypermite's a small model. Why do I have it laying down? Well, it might be small as far as this way small but it's tall it has this wing up on top and it, it doesn't fit in there so i have to put it like that let's go ahead and uh, we'll get this and see how it fits in the 25th anniversary this car they don't they don't do this car very much i always have to look at the name because it's not a common car this model is high iq hey look it's reverb no, nah, that's hyper truck. Remember, it looks like reverb in the front, but in the back, it's open like a pickup truck. It's too long, but at least I can fit it at an angle like that. And here's a look at the back, like I was talking. They made a hyper truck. They made reverb like a truck and called it hyper truck. 
Let's get a fish. Well, not a fish. Mm, I think this is hammerhead. Pretty sure this is a hammerhead. Nope. It's called hammer down. It's like a hammerhead shark, but they called it hammer down. Let's go ahead and get a motorcycle. Mm, I don't like to collect a lot of motorcycles. What is this one? HW450F. I'm not. I'm not going to look at the name. I see another hyper truck in the other container. I don't have to get two. Oh, <laughs> hyper mice wants to come. Okay, you can come. This uh, you should know this one. This is a new model, a newer model from Mattel. Heavy something. I know it's not called heavy recovery. It's hard. To, it's hard to see right there, but this is heavy hitcher. It's a little hitch. It's a tow truck. I showed you highway hauler. Well, there's the sequel, Highway Hauler 2. This one, this one was actually an error. When I opened it up in the video, I didn't even notice. Look at that. The metal didn't fill all the way, and it's got a hole in his head. This one's hammered coop. It kind of fits in at an angle, but it's really squishy. That's that part. Easy to put him in there. We'll find a cubby in this one for it to fit. We have some hover cars. Hover. Good thing I didn't call it hover. I have a habit of saying hover. There you go. Hover storm. This one's called hover storm. Here's another watercraft. This one is called hover and out. This one's not for water, but it has water. You can see it's got water inside. It's called hot tub. And yeah, this is a hot tub model. And if you want to do downhill racing, you want to get the version that has these copper colored faster than ever wheels. This is a fast car. I have two samples of head starter. This one came in the Hot Wheels Super Trucks line, came with the truck. We'll go ahead and grab this one. Oh yeah, you might like this version of Hollowback. Yeah, this came from the Accelerators movie. I have a six spoke version and a five spoke. This one is in a satin red color. It's a flat satin red color, while the other one is just a regular red plastic. It does have glitter in it a bit. That's Hollowback from Team Metal Maniacs. Oh yeah, on the other side I can see two other big models that have to use a larger cubby. There you have Hot Wheels High. It's too big, it doesn't fit in the cubby. This one's retired. You'll never see this model again. It is hydroplane. Speaking of hot tub, you got hot seat. You have the uh, toilet car. <laughs> yeah, it's a toilet car. There's another type of toilet car that Mattel has released. This was the first one. That one is one of the two Hot Wheels models that I don't particularly care for. Hammer sled. I got one. Uh, I don't remember how I got it. I like having a couple samples of each model, but I don't need more than that. High voltage, hot bird. That actually I should put in the licensed jammers. That's basically based, I, th I think, off of a uh, Pontiac Trans Am. And let's get a sample of high tech missile. Now let's see which models we're going to put in the larger spots. Because remember, some of those cars were too big to put in single cubbies. Just like here, you wouldn't be able to fit it here or here. Jeez Louise. Now let's see which cars we're going to put in which spot for this one here. Let's get the bus. Of course, it's not going to fit in the smaller spots. It didn't fit in the smaller spots in that one either. I noticed these are bigger on the side. Yep. There you go. That's a good spot for it. Hot tub. Oh, good. It fits there. Oh, it would it fit in a normal cubby there anyways. Let's see. What were some of the longer models? Hydroplane. Too long. Uh, not quite. There you go. See how it's angled out. It winds up working pretty good right there. Highway hauler 2. Needs a bigger spot. There you go. Original highway hauler. Too big. It's too short. It's long enough. 
It's just too short. There we go. Remember hyper truck was in a spot at an angle. Of course we could still put him at an angle. Not there. Not there. Could fit there. Let's get him a nice flat spot. Yeah, it'll fit there. It'll fit there. We'll put him right there. Hypermite, small model, but remember it's tall. Nope. 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 It's just too tall. <laughs> this in the bottom, it'll fit here, but it's taking up a big space for such a small model. Hey, I just put in two hypermites. There you go. They're as snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> It's another longer model. Nope. Nope. Oh, man, it's tight. It's right there. It's, it's popping a wheelie. And this is an odd one. It just kind of, it doesn't stand up, so you just kind of find a spot to put it. Heavy hitcher has this part that sticks out. It's kind of, kind of tight. Well, we'll put him on the bottom. It's got a bigger spot. More room for him. I was able to squeeze hammer down into that spot. It's hard to see, but right here, there's it fits underneath here. But this is this pops out. So hammer down, slid in, and I try to put high this one. It starts with an H. Of course I know it starts with an H. It's all H cars. How about I put this one here instead? Because it's laying down anyways. Yeah, see that's good. There you go. Now you got a spot. Well, there you go, all filled up. I took out more cars than we're, at, we're able to fit. Oh, by the way, the price, $6.99. That was the original price. Thank you for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.